I've had a lot of people asking me about more questions about checkers and quarter marks and patterns and what suits their horse and how do you know what sort of pattern to do and all that sort of thing and also how do I create checkers. So I thought I would just put together this quick video. I was going to try and do it as a live but I don't have enough mobile range in my shed so I'll just do it as a video and put it up. If you've got any questions let me know and I'll see what I can answer. So checkers are about, well quarter marks are about enhancing your horse's hindquarters and so depending on the shape of them, of their hindquarters, will can really influence how you do your checkers. So for example here, I've just done some quickly on him. This is how most people would normally do checkers. So I'll just bring it around so you can see his spine. So I've followed his spine sort of down here like as he's back comes down and I've started it there and then I've followed it down quite evenly. So I'll try and show you from here evenly. And then it's come down. Though so what happens when we do this, you can see we actually follow the lie of the coat. So you can see here now this sloping line here that is the shape of him because of the way their hindquarters naturally come around. What we've done with this horse, because he is quite sloped in the back and he's quite croup high, he, um, the way that is, that, that I think personally, I find that that line of the quarter marks, that coming down here, sloping down like that really enhances his slopiness, which is not something on this horse that I'd want to enhance. Um, with a client just yesterday, we were playing with quarter marks on her mare and her mare's a very different shape and quite, quite a bit rounder than him. Um, and we actually, after playing with a few different versions, we actually decided that following the line of the, of the spine and then coming over like this actually suited her better. So there's no straight up answer, this is the best way to do it. It's just, it really comes down to playing um, with your checkers and on your horse and deciding on all sorts of things. So there he goes, he stood up and he's rested another legs, but you can still see the idea of it. So now I will show you how I create checkers. So I'll brush these off and I'll start with how I okay, create Okay, so I've them. just brushed off those quarter marks and now I'm gonna um, show you how I put them in. I am gonna hold my phone while I do this, so hopefully you don't get too seasick, but I think it's the best way to do it, showing you um, sort of all angles and what you can see. So I have just dampened his coat really well. Like in all my other things, I just use my HSC hot oil mixed up as a grooming spray. You can just use water if you want or any other grooming spray or coat product or whatever you like to use. Um, and then I use the um, William and Lenster marker brush in the synthetic bristle and I've got um, my trusty Q comb as well. So in today I'm going to do uh, two inch quarter markers and um, I'm going to do it, use the two inch comb and I'll show you how to do it as soon as I turn him Okay, around. so I've dampened his coat with a spray and then I have brushed using my marker brush or any sort of reasonably stiff-ish brush that you've got. I brush all the hair straight back like that. Now I'm just standing on a step so hopefully he will stand. So now I get my marker brush and so I tend to start, so if you've got your, there's the top, here's his hip, you can sort of see it somewhere then the top of that. I sort of tend to start up just above in front of that. So there's his spine, the centre of his back there, in case you can't see it very clearly in the video. So straight up with, I'm going to start them about there. So to make, create checkers, two inch combs, so I'm going to pull down around about, there you go, the same width and that's how you create a square. So now your next gap is created by, my next checker is created by leaving a gap the width of the comb so you can actually just eyeball it or you can put your comb there to measure it and then you can now see a gap and pull down. That's a little bit big so we can Tidy that up, pull that down like that, then leave a gap again and do another one. Leave a gap and do another one if you want. So that's that first row and I saw in this time I've actually followed his back, his actual, his spine down. So now my second row just fits in between 
the middle of these checkers. And I'll just do these really quickly so this video doesn't go forever. So come back in the next row. It's about there. About there. It's not the easiest thing doing this one-handed. These are a bit messy, but it gives you that at least you can understand how to do them. Next one here. 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 And then back here. Just try to step down a bit here. Here. There. So there are so these are the ones that I've done. So you can see following his spine, let's see if I can get him to stand on both hind legs at the same time. So that has really followed his hindquarters down, and I'd probably do another row at least as well. Bring that down and down there like that. Maybe. You can do one more if you want to. I probably should have started these a little bit further back so I could fit them in. But that's where you'll start to have a play with what fits your horse and what suits. So that should be there, like that. There we go, Hondi. Well, that doesn't help, Hondi. So that's how you create checkers. So now you can see How that has still actually ended up really following his slope. So you can see that line down there really follows his slope, but I have created that line from his spine there. So now, if you've got a horse who is quite um, shaped like this one, this is not how I would do this horse's checker marks at all. Instead, I actually do them so that this line here, instead of sloping down like that, is actually more parallel to the ground, which then ends up with a different result up at the spine. So I'll just brush these off and then I'll show you how I do okay, those. Okay, so now I've just redone his quarter marks, but this time following, so see now how this line here is far more parallel to the ground. It doesn't slope down here like this. So I've actually done them so that the checkers themselves are more parallel to the ground. And the result then is that it actually doesn't highlight the slope of his quarter mark, of his hindquarters as much as it did um, when I followed his hindquarters or the shape and followed his spine. So I'll just stand up and show you if I'm standing on both hind legs at the same time. So to see the actual shape of them, can you see how they actually go off on an angle this way? So they don't follow his spine down here, they're actually off on quite an angle so they go out that way and that is then how you get they're almost diamond from up this up here rather than being um, perpendicular to his spine they're actually on a almost a 45 degree angle probably not quite that much but oh boy oh boy but you can see there that's another way to do your checkers and that's how you it results up the top so another option is you can change the size of your uh, checkers as well. So this time I've actually used the uh, three inch comb on the Q comb. I've used the big one to create larger three inch checkers. So, and then within this, and you can either do, choose the line like I talked about with the two inch ones, but there's another option for three inch checkers. Another option you can play with is the spacing that you do. So here's three inch checkers with sort of a one to one and a half inch ish. I've just done these quickly so they're not very exact but you can now see it done with a larger squares but with a smaller gap or you might choose to do rectangles so here I've done um, three inch rectangles so they are three inches wide but I've only pulled them down sort of about half a comb depth so they're longer that they're wider than they are deep Another option in your checkers is how, are you got, how do you want to finish them off? Do you want to actually have the overall shape as a rectangle or like this one here where I've brought it into more of a triangle? So it actually goes so like four, three, two, and then one. So then you can also have a play with um, the overall shape of your checker pattern. Or you might want to do more like of a hunter bar but not such a traditional one and um, change it up a little bit. So there you can see... So you could do something like that, or you can even put a, make it so it's a couple of squares in there like that. And that's simply done, so just by, let me see if I can make sure you can still see this. So creating a hunter bar with a three inch 
Hunter, pull you pull it down like that, just like I've done this one here as well. Try this one, it's a bit easier to fire in. And then get your comb back and simply brush something back into the middle of it. So you can do it like that and just do it as a, so it's sort of like got a, it's like a keyhole, I guess. Or you could create your hunter bar and then you might want to just use one of your smaller combs to create a couple of windows in it. You can do that. There are so many options that you can do. Honestly, there's hundreds if not thousands of different ways you can do your quarter marks. So what I would recommend is that you just have a go, have a play, see what you like, see what you think suits your horse and narrow it down to a couple. Every time you do some, take a photo of it so you can see what it looks like, stand back, because often when you're standing and looking you might think one thing, but when you actually flick back through the photos you go oh actually no I don't like that one as much or I like this better or I think this enhances this or this makes that part stand out more than that something like that so have a play have a work narrow it down to a couple that you like the look of and then um, I recommend either getting somebody to ride your horse so you can see it or give it a lunge do one design on one side one design on the other so you can decide which ones you like better because often once they're actually a bit further away from you and they're working and they're moving they look different again so what you think suits your horse when they're just standing there and you're having a play versus what you actually decide you actually prefer once you um, a bit further back and your horse is moving that might change as well so have a play take some photos have a look really critically at the shape of your horse and see what do you want to enhance what do you want to what do you want to not necessarily hide, but make not stand out as much. And um, yeah, I hope look, I hope this video has helped. I hope that makes a bit of sense with the way the lines of the like following the um, the spine versus following um, doing a lines that are more parallel to the ground and how you can enhance and change the shape of your horse's hind quarters um, with something as simple as that. So Hondi says it's time for dinner. He's been very, very patient. Yes, it is dinner time, isn't it? He's been very patient standing here so I can play around with all these quarter marks for you. And, um, yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, just let me know and I'll try and answer them for you.